This hiking's easy, can you tell? Came up that hard way, and we were like, we're done. It's time. Keratin insect repellent. Oh, look at that. There's moose. I can watch it, dude. It's coming up on you. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to get into Papa Pax a lot defense mode, put out my freaking ninja skills or something. <laughs> it's a dandy. About time somebody landed one of those big dogs. Dinner. Heck yeah, I'm set. Dude wipes. <laughs> you haven't lived until you try. The dude wipes. And he's a fighter. Check yeah. Out. He jumped clean out of the water to get your lure. He's oh, taking the drag. You gotta love the Uinas. Afternoon showers. We made it to Trailhead Campground. Trailhead Campground, which is Trailhead to Red Castle Lake Trail. We're off on a four day adventure. We can go catch some fish. Yep. Heck yeah. Here we go. We're heading off into the high Uinta wilderness. And with any luck, we'll get to see a moose this time. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. We've seen them up here Sound before. before. Put our name in a little book there and we're good to go. All right, we're heading off on a, about a six mile journey. And it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Sunday the 27th of June. All right, Miles and I are heading up to meet another couple from our neighborhood. They're not a couple themselves, but <laughs> two other neighbors. I believe one's bringing his son. Or Anyway, we're going to meet up with them. They started on the trail what about four hours before. A dog? Hey, check that out. We got some trail goats. It's pretty awesome. Blah. <laughs> All right, we made it to the wilderness boundary after about a half mile on the trail. So officially, this is the no drone zone. And the whole state of Utah is on a campfire restriction everywhere. So no fires this trip or the rest of the season until they lift the restriction. The highs for this trip, I think the highest being 63 degrees, well, lows down in 38. So. Nights will be a bit chilly, but the days will be pretty nice. And of course, can't forget about the flowers on the trail. Wow, oh, look at those. I haven't seen those white flowers up here before. Those are pretty. Those flowers are awesome looking. And even those ones right there, look at that. Oh yeah, check those out. All right, here's our first uh, major stream crossing here. It's got a pretty nice bridge crossed here. Yeah, this main part of this trail is pretty flat for most of the way. Pretty awesome. Falls the river a long ways up this drainage. Even at 63 degrees or whatever it is right now. I'm hot. What's that song? Jerry Reed song? When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. When you're not, you're not. <laughs> I'm waiting for the I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's still a little bit of snow lingering up there. Right up on the top. Hello there, little friend. Oh, There's another one. Sweet. Oh, it's coming in. Yeah, it came up from behind us. Right there. Oh, sweet. Oh. <laughs> right on. Love in motion, baby. All right, we made it to this long valley and this long meadow, looking up towards Red Castle. I 
Well, that was a, a three mosquito bite pitcher. Thank you. There's your mosquitoes. Look at them all. It's time. Keratin insect repellent. Down on the lower stuff, we could travel fast enough that the mosquitoes couldn't get us. But now that we're up here, up the hill, we can't, we're not going fast enough. No. But this stuff right here, keratin, <laughs> it's a mosquito force field. Here, I'll show you how it works. Check that out. Boy, they must hate this stuff because they're nowhere near me now. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, one just almost landed on your arm and then it was like Beep. He's like, screw that, man. I'm out of here. All right. Well, we got our mosquito force field. Proof of concept. It works. Yes. Hmm. They're like, I can feel them bouncing off of me, but they're not coming anywhere close. Yes. After that, they're like, ooh, that stuff's like poison. Mm -hmm. All right. We've made it to Shart Hill. That's what we call it. Because if you're having altitude sickness going up that hill, you just might shart yourself if you're not careful. Well, you can tell we're gaining elevation fast because we're starting to see that ridge line out through the trees there. Yep. Oh, look at that. There's moose. I wanted to see one. That's pretty cool. Well, your wish came true, buddy. Right on. You gonna follow us up a trail? Maybe mom is over here on the right. Yeah, it's coming up, Dad. It's coming up. I'm like, watch it, dude. It's coming up on you. Man. She didn't know what she was doing, man. She came straight at me. Yeah. Yeah, that flight or fright or what is it? It's a flight of fright. A mosquito on my yeah. chin. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to get into Papa Pax a lot defense mode, put out my freaking ninja skills or something. <laughs> that sucker was coming up on me. Yeah, coming right towards you. <laughs> fight to the death man because I ain't running I'm attacking <laughs> all right all about the bushwhacking from here we're just gonna pick our way across this ridge line up through here bushwhacked our way up that hill behind us there that's the hard part hiking yeah Woo, I have to hydrate good when I get to camp. Yeah. Dang. I'm hoping the rest of our party has dinner all made and ready for us. <laughs> We're hungry. It's coming into view. I see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, beautiful. Fat man packing right there. <laughs> He's got mosquito net on and everything. So we're over there. On no, side. you're not. We are. We came up. We came up that hard way. And we were like, we're done. That's where we are. We're not moving. We're so tired. <laughs> <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys, like, cut off the corner? Yeah. yeah. Freaking lazy butts. Oh. <laughs> God, we... Problem. But, uh, so the nine-year-old girl showed you up is what you're telling us? Oh my goodness. The big question of the day is, you've been here long enough to catch a fish. I haven't, I have not caught one thing. I have not got one bite. It's because you've been taking a nap after your grueling hike. We did take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this thing. What is it? This lake. Oh yeah. Found the neighbor. I had to go a long ways to go to the neighbor's house. Yeah. <laughs> three and a half hours on the road. Three and a half hours on the trail. 
All right, we made it to Spike Camp. Homestyle chicken and rice. I love this meal from last time. Last time I gave it 4.75 out of 5. This time, 5 out of 5. Dinner. Heck yeah, I'm set. This place sure is amazing when it comes to the views. Man, so pretty. All right, we got a moose walking through camp. Check it out. It's just over here. Yeah, it's a cow and a calf. All right, last night we rolled into camp kind of late. I was hungry by the time we had dinner and I was only had time to put the line in the water for maybe an hour. I did catch one that got off just as I was pulling them through the reed grass near shore. So I'm zero fish so far on this lake. Get out of my face, bug. Okay, this is super shallow on this side of the lake, so my goodness, look at those reflections. Holy cow. I'm gonna go get me a lure. It's worth four bucks. It might be mine from yesterday, I don't know. Woo! I know they're in here because when I went out to retrieve my lure out of the water, I took my shoes and socks off, walked out there, and 
got my lure and I looked down the water and there's a 16 inch tiger trout swimming up to me and then he surfaced for a like a little butterfly in front of me so they're in there they're just picky eaters that's why they're big that's what you do when you can't catch a fish <laughs> listen to Don Williams and lounge in the hammock but Miles he caught a fish yeah. He's the only one today. Only one today. Little four incher. <laughs> it's a fish. Still counts. A fish. Got it out of the water, that counts. Yep. I We're all on a walkabout here. We're gonna hike over to this other lake. It's in the area here. I like to call it every cast lake because it's if you're not catching fish at this other lake, come to this one. At least you won't get skunked for the day. At least that's the plan anyway. All right, so we're gonna go off trail again. And then the next year, there it is. We're right out there. This is our little, lucky little fishing hole, I hope. It's a pretty valley up in here. All right, looks like Carson got us. Got a fish, let's see that puppy. Heck yeah! There you go. Right on. Good job, buddy. Wow, look at that. It's a dandy. About time somebody landed one of those big dogs. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Nice one, Nate. Look how fat he is. Probably pop off. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at that, that's a dandy. What do you think about that? That was awesome. Let's get that big old cheesy grin. And the scale says one pound, 13 ounce. Nice job, Nate. Good morning. Good morning. Look at your little friend over there on the log. All right, we decided we're gonna go on a walkabout. We'll hike to another couple little ponds. Yeah, the luck at this lake that we're at right here has been tough love, man. I mean, there's five of us here fishing and we've only caught four fish the whole time we've been here. Yeah, three of them are little dinks. It's just, I don't know, the, the fishing here has diminished considerably. We're getting, catching fewer and they're a lot harder to catch. I mean, I don't know. I guess that's how they get big. Well, okay. oh, no. Look at those little guys. Yeah. Little pond here. We had good luck in this pond two years in a row, but I don't see anything surfacing. I think maybe it got winter killed with the lower water levels this year. It's too bad. I got my new Targi 3. Waterproof hikers are great for this marshy stuff. Unless you get closer to the lake, you know, you step in the water like that and your feet are dry. So thumbs up for the keen Targi 3s. I'm gonna bushwhack up that hill to the next lake. Whew, made the top of the hill and voila. Nice little off trail lake. Hopefully it'll be good to us. 
All right, Frog Pond is alive. I got a confirmed strike and we just saw a confirmed jump. Ooh. Miles just got a strike too? Yeah. Right on. Hey, I, we might be onto something here. This off trail lake might at least land us a fish or two. That'd be pretty cool if it does. And he's a fighter. Check yeah. Out. He's jumping out of the water. He jumped clean out of the water to Once. get your lure. Here he goes again. Oh yeah. He's pretty sizable too, it seems. Yeah. Come on, fishy fishy. Oh. Yeah, I could see him in the water there. No skunky skunky today. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can see him. He's pretty big. Yeah, he's not bad. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. God, what is he? Is he a, is he a tiger? Almost looks like a tiger. No, I don't know. There's some orange coloring on it. Nice. That might be a tiger. That looks it like is. a tiger. Holy That's crap. totally a tiger there. Holy shot. Holy. That's a big fat one. Holy crap. Look at the size of its head. <laughs> nice. Now take a look at that. He uh, he unclipped my spinner. He pulled so hard. All right, time to catch a fish. Oh gosh! Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> Taking the drag. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Miles. Holy cow, it might be the same one, I don't know, but it's big. Holy crap, look at that. Jeez. Dang! I saw that. Oh, wow. Dang, he's pulling hard. He's <laughs> taking the drag. It's like zzz, 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 zzz. Oh yeah! Look at the fight is on, brother. Oh, zzz, zzz, zzz. come on, come to Papa. Nice. Holy crap, dude! I think this is a different fish, Miles. This one's a brook. Look at the size of that brook. Nice. Holy shiters, that was two lunkers in a row. Wow, look at this country we just discovered by off trailing. Awesome. Another little pond. Last time we were up here it was empty. Oh there's our little there's our little tadpole. Oh right there. Not sure what kind of plant that is, but it's pretty cool. Another one right there. It's got a really big stalk. Look at that little cotton ball. The views up here are spectacular, so we'll try to find a good vantage point and get a picture. Fish or no fish, that climb is worth it. That view is spectacular. Gotta love the Uinas. Afternoon showers. Well, we were debating on leaving today, but just got hit with an out of nowhere rainstorm. Debating on packing up right now. I don't know if that's going to be an option for at least a little bit. 
but we'll see how it goes, I guess. All right, looks like I packed up everything and forgot a Coke Zero. Oh my goodness. So, Nate and Craig are going to arm wrestle. <laughs> no, you said leg wrestle. Yeah, leg wrestle. <laughs> leg wrestle. <laughs> Miles and I are heading out. The rain's setting in, and Carson's over there whittling away at a stick. Making spoons. He's making spoons. That's a big spoon. spoon. <laughs> <laughs> right on. All right, thanks guys. It was fun. <laughs> Thumbs up. Travel safe. We'll travel safe. We'll get wet. That'll make us go faster. All right, the rain let up for a little bit. Gives us a chance to hike out of here without a downpour. And we're bushwhacking a shortcut to, tra to the trail. I normally wouldn't start a hike this late in the day. It's 5.15 leaving camp. We gotta go six, six and a half miles. So, I don't know, we'll be getting back to the truck pretty late. After that rain, those mosquitoes are in full force. Holy crap. There's Miles, he's got his rain gear on his pack. Well, we had some decisions to make on this. <clears throat> I looked at the weather forecast and it said, suck weather for the rest of the evening through the night and for the hike out tomorrow. So I thought, well, <clears throat> I don't want to fish in the rain. Nope. I don't want to lay in the tent and do nothing in the rain. Nope. And if I'm gonna hike in the rain anyway, I just will hike in it now, then tomorrow. That's that. It's starting to rain again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we made it to the main trail and uh, the sun decided to come out for just a little bit the clouds that are up there so I think we'll see sun and rain off and on the rest of the way out of here so up there at 10,600 feet looks like they're still experiencing some hit and miss clouds but as you see down here it's not that bad at all all right well that's a wrap for us we blitzed that trail in two and a half hours that was what almost six miles almost six with bushwhacking so it wasn't too bad and just in the nick of time because look the rain uh-huh no sooner we set the pack down on the tailgate bam it started raining <laughs> yep instantly instantly it was like wow that was weird anyway yeah. it's a great trip thanks for coming miles yeah it was good it's it awesome <laughs> Viva Coke Zero. Hold one right out of the cooler. One for each of us.